Welcome back to the 2018 BYU Football Media Day Between the Lines web chats. I'm Lauren McLean, and we're here with John Denny from the my Long Snapper from the Miami Dolphins and Gennaro Guilford, the cornerbacks coach here at BYU. Guys, what's up? How are you? Good. Yeah. Well. When was the last time you were here in Provo? I was actually down here last month to the uh, father-son sports camp. Oh, nice. So Here with the, your uh, son? Yeah, I was down here with uh, three of my sons. Okay. And uh, they love it. Look forward to it. We did, this is our third year, and uh, they That's got it awesome. on the calendar. They, they love that day. They, they love coming to, to campus and roaming around and living That's in the dorms. That's fun. That's sweet. Sports, yeah. So they 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 stay in the dorms. Where do you stay? In the dorms with them. You stay in the dorms with yeah, them. Yeah, it's just like wow. it's just like the good old college back in days. The day. yeah. <laughs> I'm going back, and they're accelerated up. They feel like they're big time, and I feel like I'm a young buck. It's making them younger. That's awesome. Yeah. How old are your kids? Well, this is 13. Okay. And then uh, about every two years, 11, nine, and then the last two little girls, seven and five. And you've been in the league for 13 years. Right? I have. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And you two were teammates from 01 to 03, yes. I believe. What was the, When was the last time you guys saw each other, Gennaro? You remember? Um, well, I did run into him last month, but before then. Okay. I'll say prior to that. It's been a it's probably while, been probably 2003. Since, yeah, since, we since 2003. Yeah. Besides last month. Yeah. But wow. since then, yeah, wow. since 2003. Yeah. How, how has Gennaro changed from the last time you saw him? <laughs> Not much. The hair, the hairstyle is a little different. That's, you know? that's about it. That's really it. Gennaro looked like a player. When you when you started coaching here, and I saw you down just on the field with all the guys, I'm like, who's this, who's this guy? Who's this new player? <laughs> he looks player. so young. Yeah, no, he is. It's crazy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, you bet. How's John changed from the last time you saw him? Do you have this curly mane? Still fit. He's probably still. a lot lighter than <laughs> I was. I mean, still fit, you know. Of course, he's lost a little bit but you can yeah, tell no, through his shirt that he, he's still fit <laughs> oh my gosh. You, you can tell you know you can tell he's still fit though but that's awesome all right john well you've been in the league like we talked about for 13 years you have a lot of accolades like you played the second most games played in dolphin history behind dan marino third in the nfl for consecutive games played at 208 how have you been able to have such a lengthy career in the nfl um there's a lot of things involved that i can't control i mean you got a lot of the x factor coaching changes injuries yeah you know i just focus on the things i can take care of which is you know staying in shape taking care of my body getting in the film room doing my studying studying the game and just putting it all out there so that you know when my time is up i'll know that there was there was nothing else that i could control that i yeah. could have done and you have there's a lot of guys here that want to go to the nfl some that are yeah. in the nfl like you what advice would you have for those guys that are trying to get in um Basically, kind of just reiterate what I just said. Don't worry about any of the uh, other things you can't control. You know, you, you put it all out there. You, know, you do everything you can, and, and you won't have any regrets, and you, you'd be all right either way. Just put it all out there. Yeah. Gennaro, this is your third season here now. You're coming into your third season at BYU. Last year was obviously not the season you guys hoped for, but what do you want ingrained in your cornerbacks' minds as you're headed into fall camp? Wow. You know what? Just just continue to work. You know what? They've been they've been working hard for the last couple months, um, as far as as far as the summer goes. Um, they've been dedicated to to mastering their, their their craft. They've been watching film and things like that. So um, we just need to, to to master this game and um, make the plays when they're <laughs> presented. Yeah. And how are you feeling about your group as a whole right now, headed into fall camp? Um, you know what? I'm feeling pretty pretty confident you know um, we'll be about seven deep um, of guys that can of guys that can play so um, it'll be a lot of competition come fall camp I know the, the safeties are stealing a lot of your guys how does that make you feel you know what whatever makes the team better you know um, they took two of my both both starters you know yeah yeah but, yeah um, I was gonna say right. that's what you say to us but inside you're like no no you know guys it, but you know what it'll it'll Make our team better, um, yeah. and guys and, and guys have to step up, just like um, those guys did when they were when they were freshmen. You know, um, yeah. both of them started as freshmen, so they had to step up then, and um, it's, it's time for somebody else to step up. Yeah, Gennaro, there's one thing about John. I don't know if you knew, but he is the barber for the Miami Dolphins. Is that true? Gennaro is. I mean, no, you are. Oh, yeah. I said I didn't know if Gennaro knew. <laughs> gotcha. But John. Oh, I was gonna say that's a coincidence. You're like what? Because I am. I haven't seen you there. No, I'm not. I'm not the barber. <laughs> I do, I do cut a lot of the guys' hair. 
Uh -huh. uh, also, there's some staff members uh, just over the years. It's kind of like slowly accumulated into a, a small clientele. Wow. They have they have other barbers they bring in. You know, guys uh -huh. like to their a fresh cut before a game, and so they got a, a couple barber chairs in the players' lounge, and uh, they'll bring in their guys. And, and uh, but I've also been known to use those chairs to give out free cuts to cut the guys. Some hair. Yeah. Wow. How did you acquire that skill? That's How did you acquire that information? <laughs> I don't know. We're really <laughs> what is it? You can't, out, like, you that's can't not ask like, an investigator. I don't have like a company. I there. don't like advertise. <laughs> like that's pretty like there's like 15 people that know that I do that. <laughs> not um, small not 16. I'm oh, sorry. What was the question? <laughs> I just said how did you acquire Oh. That skill? Uh, I probably started on my mission. Cool. Cutting hair, my own hair, and then you know, companions' hairs, and, and yeah. then, uh, I always kept always cut my own hair. I cut my kids' hair as they got older. Mm -hmm. you know, it's easy to practice on them. They don't, you know, little mistake they won't they won't notice. And then uh, <laughs> with some of the players, I was cutting my own hair, you know, in the locker in the in, uh, in, uh, showers, and uh, one of the guys had a real simple haircut, pretty he's balding, real short, yeah. and he was like, hey, can you just trim me up? And another guy saw, he's like, hey, can you do a fade? And I was like. <laughs> I can try. <laughs> and so, I, so, so I told everybody, I'll, I'll give it all the free cuts you want. I get the experience. I Dang. can get better. And uh, money back guarantee. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> Look at that. Janara, would you trust him? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not, oh, yours isn't okay, so difficult. My it's barber is actually Vince. Our defensive GA. Really? Vince, cut, he's been cutting my hair literally for probably the last two years. Wow. Yep. Does he does he cut anybody else's? Yeah. So he's just he's good um, at it too. Yeah, I know. He's he, the BYU football barber. Um, and actually with. Coach Hadley who just left, he actually cuts hair as well. But he just got here, so I'm like, I don't know. I gotta <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta see your work. First. Yeah, you gotta give him tell him to bring you a portfolio. Yes. But things he's cut. Yeah. In the meantime, Smart. Vince Vince has been cutting my hair literally for the last two I haven't gone to any other barber in Utah besides Vince for the last two years. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, we only have a couple more minutes and I wanted to play a game with you guys. You guys mentioned the last time you saw each other before last month was in two thousand three. Uh -huh. We're gonna yeah. get a, the top five songs that were popular. Oh. In 2003, and I, could you bring me those whiteboards, and you guys are gonna guess what song it is. Okay, we're just gonna play like five seconds of it. And you gotta guess what song lose. it is. I'm not, I'm not a song guy. We can, we can start right now because we don't Let's want see. time. So whenever they're ready. Oh wait, gotcha. So we have to. Yeah. Oh, here you go. What's this? See if you get it right. I know this. Who's the artist? The artist? Artist or yeah, artist and song. We'll we'll accept both. I remember that one. All right, the reveal. Let's see what you got. Yep, you both got it. That was the number one song in 2003 in the club. Huh. Was, were you guys jamming to that when you were in college? I, I, I was. The song. I recognize it. <laughs> Maybe right, a little too much. <laughs> yeah. All right, second song. Let's hear it. If that's how you spell it. The Queen. Queen B. All right. I don't. I we'll can't see what remember you the got. name. Jenny from the Block, right? I oh, know. Is that? <laughs> no, it's Beyonce. It's Beyonce. <laughs> Crazy in Love, Beyonce. Oh, Crazy in Love, Beyonce. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It was something like that. Well, it was 2003. If you're saying Jenny from the Block, no. that's it's been a minute. I do, I, it's been I do a minute. better. Yeah. All right. We're gonna do one more, one more before we end this. Listen hard. This is a little harder. Oh, you didn't give us that much music either. Well, Can we get one more little? Yeah, one, one more snippet. Let's see if they'll, they'll play more. <laughs> They're giving me the same, the same five seconds. <laughs> this one's hard. I'll, yeah, I could give you a little hint. Trying to blank. Not one, two, but three. Three Doors Down is the artist. Is that Arms Wide Open? Is that the song? Nope. The song is When I'm Gone. That was a hard one. Uh, but that was the number three song number in 2003. Three. Wow. I recognize the song. I yeah. Just... Well, you guys need to go back and you need to look at what's three popular in 2003 open. and come back next year. <laughs> That's the artist. We'll, we'll play this three game doors, again. Three, three, door, three Doors Down. Three Doors Down. Down. like, who's that? Okay. Okay, we awesome. Play, we played the song game in our coach's, coach's uh -huh. office on the defensive side, so... I'm going to get him with okay. that one. Yes, you should. That's a really good one because it's really obscure. 
but it was I'm still popular. It's a good one. All right, guys, thanks for being here with us, and good luck in whatever you have on Media Day the rest of the day. Thank you. Appreciate it.